everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be another romance recommendation. Today's romance recommendation will be on billionaire slash millionaire romances. I will link down below my playlist for all of my past recommendation videos, but billionaire romances I have never recommended before and I used to have a huge phase of reading these back in the day, especially when Fifty Shades was popular. So I have a fair amount of recommendations. I tried to recommend some that aren't super popular, but of course I am going to mention some old favorites. Mainly I wanted to do this video for your guys' recommendations. I feel like I haven't read a billionaire millionaire rich businessman romance in a very long time especially new ones i feel like this trope really isn't that popular anymore or at least i'm not familiar with any new ones so if there are any new ones that are out that i should read please let me know down below also some old ones that maybe i haven't read yet just let me know what your favorite billionaire romance is so i have about 15 recommendations today and I will go more in depth for about six of them and then the other nine I will just kind of casually mention. So let's get into all of my recommendations. The first one I have is Misadventures of a Backup Bride by Shayla Black. This is part of the Misadventures series. You don't have to read them in order. They are all technically standalones. Um, they're all written by different authors. This is definitely one of my favorites in the series. I haven't read the full series, but I do like this one and another one. This follows our billionaire Carson who has to kind of make a business deal and marry the daughter of that business owner but he kind of wants to back out so he claims that he's in love with somebody else and even though he is supposedly in love with somebody else he can still get the company if he ends up marrying this woman he's in love with. So he has to come up with this plan of finding this woman he's supposed to be in love with and he meets our female character Ella who is an actress and she decides to kind of go along with it and to pretend to be his fiance, pretend to be in love with him and they have this plan to have this wedding that will be fake and she'll leave him at the altar so that they don't actually have to get married and that it won't be his fault and he could still get his company that he wants. It was really fun. I really liked the characters and I really enjoyed the romance. So this is definitely one of my favorites billionaire romances. The next one I would recommend is Man Whore by Katie Evans. This one I really really love. It is also one of my favorites by Katie Evans. This follows our female character who is a journalist I do believe or she's supposed to write this very iconic piece and she decides that she wants to write about our male character who is a entrepreneur the hottest entrepreneur Chicago has ever known. He's very mysterious, he's very private, and she wants to kind of expose him or get more out of him, so she decides to interview him, get to know him so that she can write this piece about him. And she becomes very wrapped up in him, and she suddenly doesn't know if she wants to write this article for her career or if she wants to instead protect him. It's super intriguing, it's super... I feel like it is kind of mystery-esque, but there's not really a mystery. I think the male character is just very mysterious and very much an enigma. I mean, his name is Malcolm Kyle Preston Logan Saint. In a way, it gives me vibes that he's a very elegant or like from a regal family or something. Like that's the vibes I get from his name because it's so freaking long. But I really love this book. I loved the romance. There's also a second book and a little novella about this couple and there is more books in this series, the Man Whore series, and it does follow a lot of other billionaires and super successful heroes. The next one I recommend is The Fortunate Ones by R.S. Gray. This one is definitely a lot tamer. I feel like it's probably the tamest one on this list. A lot of the other ones I'm recommending are a little bit more, I wouldn't say erotica, but they're definitely heavier with sex scenes and stuff. This one is a little bit more cleaner, I guess, a little bit more tamer. But this is still a really good billionaire romance, and I would definitely recommend starting with this one if you have never read 
any billionaire romances before. This follows our female character who works at a country club and I believe she's just like a waitress and our male character is often at the country club. He's this successful tech guy I think tech mogul and one day they're both in the lounge together and he is super intrigued by her and asks her to take a seat and they start chit-chatting. She's super intimidated by him. There is a little bit of an age gap and he's kind of a little distant, a little cold, a little mysterious. I really liked it. I think this is one of my favorites by Iris Grey. It's not super comedy or like rom-com focused as her other books are. It definitely has a little bit more of a serious or I wouldn't say dark but maybe a little bit more of like a heavier tone I guess if that makes sense. It still had a lot of great qualities that R.S. Gray has in her books like there is still a little bit of a funny sassy humor tone to it and there is quite a bit of banter between the characters but I would just say this one's a little bit more serious. And in my opinion, definitely different than what she has written in the past. The next one I have to recommend is obviously The Contract by Melanie Moreland. This is one of my favorite billionaire romances. I don't know if he's actually a billionaire or a millionaire. It doesn't really matter. He's, he's a business guy. He's got the money. This falls Richard, who is trying to secure this business deal. But the partners don't really believe that he's like this family man. And they just kind of think he's like this cold, heartless business guy. And they essentially want him to prove that he could be a family man and that he could be a nice guy. So he asks his personal assistant to be his fake fiance. Catherine, his PA, doesn't really like him. She tries to just do her job and that's it. But she really doesn't like him. So she's definitely thrown off about him asking her to be his fiance. I really loved this romance. You see both characters grow and develop and you see Richard turn more into a softer, more kind, still business guy though, but he opens his heart up for more. As I said, I really love this book. It is definitely one of my favorites. The next one I recommend is Chandler by Laura Lynn Page. This is one of Laura Lynn Page's standalones. I feel like a lot of her books are very intertwined, but this one you can definitely read as a standalone. You don't have to read the entire fixed series before reading this one. I will later on mention the fixed series, but this is definitely one of my favorites by Laura Lynn Page. I really, really loved it, and I did not expect to like it as much as I did. This follows Chandler, who works for his family's business. He's kind of the black sheep of the family, and he is a player. And our female character, Genevieve, is the daughter of this successful business guy. She feels like she doesn't really get much attention from the family. She's kind of outcast a little bit. She meets Chandler. She doesn't really want anything to do with him. Him, but she kind of sees the opportunity to use him in a like playful way to kind of get her dad's attention. Obviously to Chandler it's just a game you know he thinks that he can get any girl so he's down for it and there's there's no like fake dating or anything like that it's more just like friends with benefits but mainly they just try to get other people's attention. I feel like I did not explain this one very well I'm so sorry but I really liked this and I think it was a great addition to the entire fixed universe that Laurel and Page has created. And the last one that I'm going to go more in depth for is 81 Nights by Georgia Cates. This is a duology. If you haven't read any of Georgia Cates books, I highly recommend them first of all, but this specific duology is very similar to her other books and that is intentional. On Goodreads it says, while the characters from this book are entirely new, their storyline is a combination of fresh material and carefully selected themes, scenes, and settings from the Beauty series, the Sin Trilogy, Dear Agony, and Indulge. This is intentional. I chose some of my favorite elements from previous releases and interjected them into 81 Nights. Let's call it a story fusion between our old favorites and new material. So if you have read some of her previous books, this is definitely going to feel very similar to that. But this follows our female character who I believe is an escort and she ends up meeting our male character 
who is obviously a billionaire, he's very successful, and he offers a contract to be his kind of girlfriend, but more like companion a little bit. He wants all of the elements of a girlfriend without them getting attached. I really liked it and I would highly recommend it even if you have read some of Georgia Kate's past books, I still think you would really enjoy this one. Okay, the next nine I'm going to recommend very quickly. So we have This Man by Jodi Ellen Malpez. This is an old classic favorite. I really love this book. Our female character is an interior designer and she goes to design the manor where our male character owns and he's like this business guy. He's very dark, very mysterious, very dominating. This book is full of ups and downs. It's a roller coaster. I love this series so much. Looking Inside by Beth Carey, I really liked. This follows our female character who watches our male character through her apartment window. She has like a clear view into his bedroom. I really liked this and I definitely thought it was something a little different from the old typical billionaire romances. Aside from 81 Nights, I obviously do recommend Georgia Keats other books. We have Beauty from Pain and Dear Agony. These both inspired 81 Nights, so if you liked those, you'll probably like these or vice versa. This one follows an Australian hero. Yeah, and they also kind of have like a contract and stuff. Very typical for that era. This one is also about an escort. I obviously have to mention Fixed on You by Laura Lynn Page. This is the first book in the initial Fixed trilogy. And then there is a fourth book that follows the same couple. Our female character ends up working at this nightclub that our male character owns and he's intrigued by her. They start a relationship that is with a contract and they both have very dark pass that is actually really interesting. I highly recommend checking out all of her other books because that is pretty much all that she writes is billionaire romances. Of course I can't forget to mention Bear to You by Sylvia Day. This is the first book in the Crossfire series. This is another oldie. This again I think is another contract romance. The next one is Faking Miss Wright by Claire Kingsley. This I read a couple of years ago and really enjoyed. It is also a fake dating romance and our female character is his assistant. In Flight by R.K. Lily is another great billionaire romance. Our female character is a flight attendant and she ends up falling in love with a billionaire hotel owner who again I believe they have a contract as well. And the last one I'm going to recommend is Naked by Rain Miller. This is the first book in the Blackstone Affairs series. This is another one kind of similar to the other ones I mentioned before. This follows our female character who's an art student and obviously our male character is a successful businessman. He ends up buying one of her nude portraits. It is very dramatic, but I really loved it. So those were a couple of my billionaire romance recommendations. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what your thoughts are on them. And if you have any other recommendations for me, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!